Alright guys, welcome back to another fun episode of Final Fantasy XIV of Realm Reborn. Now, as you can see, uh, the more likes or the more comments I get, the more I want to dish out a lot of these. But this is my first here, so I'm just going ape shit. <laughs> and I'm just trying to basically make the quality good, the sound good, you can hear me. These are the couple of things that I'm doing. And of course I'm trying to get to every single thing. If I'm missing anything, I need people to let me know. <laughs> or if you have any ideas of how to make the quality better, what video converter I should get to make it awesomer, I think I, I'm pretty set with this recorder because the videos do come out really good. It's just the converter, which I have a, a I just bought a recently a new video converter, but they need to upgrade it in order for me to do anything. <laughs> So, anywho, we are going to do the fishing guild. Now, this is another gathering. So, you want to be a fisher? Sure, I do. Uh, I was born one, really. Because <laughs> all my summer vacation, my family was in the fishing business. Or, well, the marina business, anyway. Mom on my Robinson side, and that seems to only be the only happy moments I've ever had on on my grandparents' side. So, we get a lugworm, and of course our very first fishing rod. But we don't get those until we talk to the fishing uh, uh, master over here. <laughs> So let's just click that. So, reading your line. To fish, you must first change your class to Fisher by equipping a rod in your main hand. If the body of water you are near is fishable, the icon for the cast action will glow. Determine a bait to apply to your line by selecting the bait action and then check mark the desired item for the list that appears. Some baits can only be used in certain locations for the landing certain type of fish. Bait and tackle can be harvested, made by disciples of the hand, or purchased from various merchants or field craft vendors. Always make sure your inventory is stocked before heading into uh, heading out into the wild. Oh, the joys of fishing! <laughs> I have a feeling this is in my inventory. Which it is. And unfortunately, something has to go for my hand. Which is gonna be this. Anything low. Everything high goes right there. So anything low that I have I basically have become like this right here, I can't really put this in my inventory because I'm still using it. <laughs> so now that we have our staff in here for thermals, a uh, black mage, and thermal and black mage, etc., etc., uh, we can now equip and we can hopefully equip that too. If not, oh, well, that's alright. Now that our fishing pool is equipped, let's talk to him. 
Okay. All right, so he's gonna send us our first task. Okay, and then we get a fishing log. Your fishing log contains invaluable information on everything from fishing holes, location, to details, fishing data, to personal records. The log can be found under the logs in your menu. No. <laughs> Which is basically right here. Black shroud, the run, reverse, and this. So right now we're in this reason. Woo! <laughs> well, anywho, let's bait. Okay, so now we gotta go find a place to fish. And of course, it's always gotta be around the water. Okay, so right here. After using the cast action to cast your line into the water, you need to simply set back and wait for a bait. When a fishing bites, a fish fishing. <laughs> when a fish bites, you will not only see the line being tugged, but hear it. While a fish is on the line, use the hook action to attempt to reel in your catch. Your chances of success reeling in a fish after hooking it are directly affected by the fish type you're gathering. Woo! Alright. Let's fish! I moved, didn't I? I did. Nothing bite. Okay, I caught something. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, you can't even see the fish. <laughs> Basically, when you see the tug, <laughs> more or less, hit number three. So fishing is always about the waiting game. Ooh, something new. anchovies. And I know they're in here because we just got one. So what do we catch now? Finger shrimp! <laughs> I guess because they look like a finger! <laughs> So unlike uh, botanists and mining, you can't choose what you're mining. It's all about reeling it in. Gobby. Caught another gobby.
<laughs> I found kelp! <laughs> Seaweed found in all fires of Edel Z Sea has been known to grow up to Melm in length. Hmm. Ah, I lost my bait. Hey, no tug at the line. What I caught now. Finger shrimp. Well, if I catch five more or three more, I might have a cocktail. <laughs> Okay, that's our second anchovy. <laughs> we need about three more. I'll get back to you guys when I caught them all. Alright, so I finally caught my last anchovy. And as you can see, I've caught an anchovy, more gobbies, more finger shrimps, and another kelp. <laughs> So, now that we're done with that, we're gonna head back to you, CC Poo. And we're gonna hand those right over. Okay, and there's our new duds. <laughs> Leveled up. So right now we're at level four. Congrats. And of course we filled that right up too. Well, we might as well check these out. Legs. And cheese. <laughs> They're looking coordinated. <laughs> okay, anyway. 
So we have got to fish, and so just in case. So we're gonna get a new, new fishing pole at low, when we're level eight. So we might as well do that. Fish until you're level eight. Catch you guys there. Oh, one more thing. Uh, do some levees. Levees basically help you get up there. So, without any further ado, we're gonna go do some levees. If you haven't been to La Nocia for a long time, uh, remember the lift? Up. <laughs> you wanna head to the Ventures Guild. Here's where you'll find all your levees, no matter what level you are. So, we are doing field crafting. And of course we're doing this, but we also have botanists and this. But it seems to me like mining is over in Udal. Botanists it would probably be over in, um... Oh... In New Grandia. And... Fishing would be right here in La Nocia. So we are gonna accept these two. Ah, and they're basically just real easy because <laughs> I've already got them okay so where are they on the map then okay and this one okay so it's not too far away so we're just gonna deliver our catch that we caught right then and there. <laughs> Which means they're straight up. <laughs> Once we get to level 10 on this, because crafting, you always want it higher than when you, I mean gathering you want, always want higher than crafting. Which is right here. Moth people is the third stage of it and developed into an adult live bait. So we're gonna get moth poopas, and this is another uh, lure. And then we want to hand over. Then complete. And already we're like a few minutes away from leveling up. <laughs> so again, we're going to head right back to the levee. And grab those again. That way we can level up a little bit better. And this will get us right up to level 5, just like that. So we know where to fish. We just have to go here and grab this. Field crafting. Field crafting. Now, I kind of want to check out what the trading crafting has. So, it has blacksmith. It probably will have armor, maybe. Well, if I was in. If I had armor. Jewelry? No. Leather? No. Weaver? No. Arcanist? No. Cooking is a no. Even that. So it looks like it's only blacksmith crafting that has it. Of these right here. We'll accept those two. And we'll also get our. Whoa, what just happened? Oh, those right there. <laughs> We're gonna accept these. Uh, 
Okay, so we're gonna get some Stratford Kelp and Lomez. And we're gonna fish for some more anchovies. Lovely. Alright, so I'll catch you guys when I'm at level 8. So I found this spot and I've completed the other ones. If you can read here, I've obtained level 8. So even if you do a levy and you switch right back to your fishing section, it's just gonna level up your one character. <laughs> Except for battle. Battle already seems to not. So, I'm gonna see if this works. See if we catch anything. Of course, moving just a little bit seems to be annoying me. A little bit. So we're at level 5 right now. I could do the story, but I'm wanting to get uh What the? Oh, I lost my bait because I, I didn't nail it when I had the chance. <laughs> Let's try that again. I want to wait until I'm level 8 and then we'll go do it. So I'll see you guys then. So the location that I'm at right now is in Mulvey's Bay. I'm basically trying like different scenarios and both baits that I have are the wrong bait. So there's definitely something here, but the baits that I have, and I'll show you, is a moth poop pupa poopa <laughs> and the lugworm. So and both of those did not uh, succeed over here, down here, because this is as close as I can get to the water of trying to catch something. So uh, this is a fail for me. So I'm gonna try some place out and see what happens. So by this bridge here, uh, around Summer Ford, I found the dwarf catfish, and before that, I found the crayfish here, right here under this bridge. So a lot of times fish are here. I don't know if there's something else. So let's continue on here. I have yet to find the coral butterflies or a harbor herring because that was my mission. But I have found those and I'm using the moth bait to get them here. I found a chub. <laughs> That's something new too. Oh, dear lord, please don't come near me. I'm gonna be running. Thank goodness. <laughs> I'm glad I'm on this side. Those things appeared, I thought, oh shit. I thought I did fish one up. <laughs> and we caught a crayfish. <laughs> So it looks like uh, it's it's a uh, dwarf catfish, crayfish, right here, and and something. <laughs> Every time I go to the ocean or look that way, it seems like I'm catching a uh, gobby, <laughs> a gobby fish. <laughs> And I caught a dwarf catfish. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna pause right now and I'm gonna still try to hunt. If I can't hunt and we reach for level 8, then I'm gonna stop. Okay, so I found where you can also buy some more bait. You can go to Merchant Mentor, uh, anyone that's on the ground or anyone that's selling products. Go to Purchase Tools. So if there's a tool merchant, purchase that. Scroll down. Here's your craft. Here's some bait for you. Crayfish ball and a pill bug. Now this is something we could also use to have. 
after wandering around like an idiot. <laughs> also, we have our potions, high potion, ethers, eye drops, and our gray dark matter down here too. And of course, we have a fishing rod here too, which is maple fishing rod level 8, which we're headed towards. And all this stuff too. <laughs> But we're gonna craft that stuff, so we're gonna ignore the rest. But we are gonna accept the baits. And see if we get something different. Let's see if we can find other stuff. So I've moved to three man. Well, right down here in Nam's River Skylift. <laughs> see if I can find any. Uh, get anything. And of course, I purchased some new bait. We're gonna try this first. And the way it goes. If it doesn't work, it basically says this bait doesn't work, try a different different bait. Oh, it's working. Let's see what we get. And we caught. All right, the harbor herring. That's the, what I was looking for. <laughs> okay. So that bait works to capture our harbor herring. Awesome. So what else have we caught? A harbor herring again! <laughs> Here I thought, okay, must be in a new map world, but you know, for, since we find all these things, we're probably gonna have to be like, yeah. Have we caught? Vogolo clam, something new. So using that same baits, we get Vongolia clam. We'll also see if botanists actually harvest those uh, all those baits too. Ocean cloud. Oh, we've got a you know, sort of like looking jellyfish. <laughs> so that's also here. So we're gonna stay right here and catch our bait. So it's a 1,160, 400 percent experience points. Woo! And we caught a piece of white coral. So we got white coral, but not the coral we're looking for. We're looking coral butterflies. So we're going to cast again. Oh, I have to eat like a queen! <laughs> All this stuff in the ocean. Good lordy. Alright. We have finished Splendors in the Glass. But we have yet to find coral butterflies yet. So I'm going to keep on looking around and I'll be back soon. So the, 